called cross publication. What it is, is just a convenience to take the content and post it to different social platforms for you. Uh, in the past, some of these churches that are with us, they would go to Facebook and Twitter and whatever and just post it themselves. But we have a way to automate that for you. This needs to have already been connected via the connections. There's a process for you to connect to the various platforms, basically to authenticate Sermon Audio to post on your behalf. Once those are connected, it's a very simple process. You can check that out. Then this will all light up for you. And you don't have to do any of it. You can just you know, hide it all, which is fine. You don't have to do any of it. But it is nice to be able to upload a preview to YouTube. And you can say this is the title for YouTube. And you can put a proper description and change the visibility of it on YouTube. And what this does is it will basically upload a small little clip of whatever you uploaded. Now, this is we're talking about video. So this doesn't show up necessarily for audio, but if you have video, it'll upload a small little clip to YouTube. Same thing for Facebook and same thing for Twitter. It's, it's a very handy feature. It's a very overlooked feature. What it does is it spreads your net. And yes, it is a clip. It's the first two minutes of the sermon that we upload, but even that is important the way we see it. Because if you go to Twitter, for example, and you view a link on Twitter. This is a link on Twitter. See, it's a static link. And it, sure, it takes you to the sermon. You click on it and it takes you to the sermon. But, you know, it's a static link. If you actually upload with our cross-publish, what it will do is it will upload a portion of the video itself so that as you're...